First and foremost, I want to give all glory, honors, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honor to the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone, teaching this truth time and time again, showing us to be men, men of the Lord. And um, I'm with the brothers. Uh, bro I'm a brother Taha Wong. I'm a brother uh, Taha Wong. I'm a Hav. And uh, we just got right before camp, like a little pre-camp lesson. Just going to go into a... Uh, like worship and what the Lord, how the Lord wants us to worship Him. But uh, yeah, uh, just that word, uh, worship. It's uh, proskuneo, and it is a, uh, a compound word. Okay, um, the first, um, the first compound of it is uh, to take advantage of, to walk towards, or with regard to. And then the second part of it is, uh, or that is a G4314. And then the second part of it is a G2965, meaning uh, to kiss like a dog licking his master's hand. Okay. And going into the biblical usage is to kiss the hand to, towards one in token of reverence. So I may add, you know, uh, you had the Pope, they always say, you know, kiss the ring. You know what I'm saying? That's a form of reverence, like it says. Okay. It says, among the Orientals, especially the Persians, who fall upon the knees and touch the ground with the forehead as a reverence of profound, as an expression of profound reverence. In the New Testament, by kneeling or prost prostration, to do homage to one, to make obeisance, whether in order to express respect or to make supplication. You, uh... It's basically, you know, you, uh, uh, uh you know, um, paying reverence. You know, to to uh, to to bow down, okay, because that's the ultimate way of you uh, submitting yourself is you you know um, um, lowering yourself down, you know you humbling yourself to a higher power, and this way this is the higher power is being Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Uh, uh, priest, um, uh, scripture. This is uh, because the Lord wants us to come in that way. So uh, this is uh, Psalm chapter two, verse eleven. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry. So what they just said, uh, that's how, how we, we're supposed to worship the son. Also, too, the Lord uh, isn't Yahweh Shai uh, worthy for worship. So the Lord told us that we uh, we should. So uh, cutting all those people that we shouldn't, like how Sakari said, they don't believe in Yahweh Shai. But we, we, kiss, we, we kiss the son. That's what, we worship them. Ye perish, and ye perish from the way, and when his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are ye that that are put their trust in him. So once the Lord, the Lord, Yahweh Shah is coming back to destroy this planet, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh will. So if we're worshiping and showing ourselves our loyalty to him, he's going to, uh, we're blessed because he's going to uh, uh, protect us in that day. He tells you in Corinthians that, uh, uh, Basically, we get we get uh, we get jacked up, so we get chastised, you know. So so that way we don't get uh, um, hurt with the world when Yahweh Shai comes back, you know. So that's why we catching all this hell. That's why we go through our trials and tribulations, for the heavenly Father could um, um, ultimately have mercy on us um, when when um, Yahweh Shai comes back. And uh, my man got a precept to his brother uh, for you know how they say it's part of worship Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Got a precept for edification sake. So my man is just born. Uh, this is John 4, 14, verse 6. Yahweh Shai said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So you have to serve Yahweh Shai. You gotta, uh, uh, the only way you get to him, um, you gotta serve Yahweh Shai for him to put the good word uh, to Yahweh. You gotta get to him first, though. That's the only way. So you do have to serve Yahweh Shai. He died for us. He, we, the reason why we're good is because of Yahweh Shai. So why wouldn't we worship him? Only one God and one med uh, mediator. I got pizza. This is uh, um, Matthew chapter 3, verse uh, 16. And Yahweh Shai, when he was baptized, went straight, went up straightway out of the water. And lo, the heavens were opened unto him. And he saw the Spirit of the Most High descending like a dove and light and lighting uh, upon him. And here's the point right here. This is, and lo, a voice from heaven saying, this is my beloved son. That's uh, the heavenly father. Okay. Uh, that's Yahweh. Okay. That's the heavenly father. Yahweh. Talking about Yahweh Shai. 
that's the voice speaking in Hebrew, okay? And it says, a lo, a, a lo, a voice from heaven saying, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased, you know? So the heavenly father, he's pleased that the, uh, that Yehoshai, uh, uh, ultimately man finished his work, you know, and, and became that sacrificial lamb for the nation of Israel. And go back to, like, I would say, go back to worship Yahushua. Why wouldn't you want to worship somebody that basically gave you life? You know, the only reason why you're not, you're not a Christian say is because of my mercy that you're not consumed. So why wouldn't right. you worship that power, man? It's the reason, he's the reason why you, uh, um, you're going to be straight at the end. It's because of Yahushua. I may mean, add, he's also the redeemer. You know, according yeah, to the right. law, you could, uh, um, your next of kin could redeem you out of slavery. Mm -hmm. And hey man, exactly. uh, uh, Yahweh Shahidah redeemed us out this fucking slavery, man, out this weak Watch ass fucking Shai. body and shit, you know? So that's why we uh, uh, praise and give reverence to uh, uh, Yahweh's only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, man. Because without that, we'd be through. He, 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 he already bought you. You don't own your mm -hmm. own. Like, he, and technically, you're on borrowed time. So, and why would you want to worship some power like Yahweh Shai that didn't sin or nothing in this wicked flesh? I want to worship him and be like him. Shoot, I look yeah. up to him, man. Yeah. Uh, I got a, a precept. This is Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 4. Uh, for to him that is joined to all the living, there is hope. For a living dog is better than a dead lion. So he, he said, uh, you're, you're too good to be able to, like, to kiss the sun, to worship him, and act like uh, bringing yourself low. Well, at least you're, uh, he's giving you life. So he's giving you life. It's better than being a bold, uh, uh, what is that, a lion? Like a, oh, yeah, yeah. It's a courageous. It's a, a fierce. Without the spirit. Mm -hmm. yeah, a dog, yeah. The characteristics of a dog is loyal. Mm -hmm. It's uh, a caring. It's uh, protective. You know what I'm saying? For, uh, verse 5, for the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything. Neither have it. So you're gonna be just lost in this world. You don't have the spirit. So you'd be bold as uh, as possible, but you 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 don't even understand that you're dead. That any more a, a reward for the memory of them is forgotten. But the ones that are worshiping and uh, humbling themselves to Yahweh by Shem Shai, they're gonna be. They don't have crowds. You gotta come at, come at the Lord like a child, as Christian said. I can bring out the God. Yeah. Uh, I gotta. Oh, oh yeah, 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 we got it. It's a John four and verse twenty four, and it reads, "God, thy power is a spirit, and they that wish, it's like it, and they that worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth." And that's what we're doing. We worship Him in spirit and truth. We out here doing what we need to do, and, and if you don't like it, it is what it is. It's, it's, that's on you because we have to do this for us to be uh, uh, saved, and uh, uh, and you and we, the reason why we out here for. Um, uh, obviously the other reason why we're out here because uh, you won't be uh, you have no cloak for your sins too. So at the end of the day, if you don't like it, we're out here for uh, your benefit, no matter if you don't uh, understand it or not. Just for the uh, uh, first Peter five verse six, it says, "Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High, that He may exalt you in due time." So, uh, yeah, so you're coming out humble like like a dog. You're coming and kissing at his feet. Look at it. At that time, he's going to see you as a loyal. He's a true sir. And then that's when he can give you that. Uh, that's when he's going to make you a great man. Because the Lord has to be get his glory first. And then the Lord, me, uh, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh has to get his glory. That's what, the, that's what the Yahweh Shai always pushed. And these words are from my father. And then now, and then what happened? That he became... It had eternal life now. He resurrected. He did miracles. The Lord uh, exalted him. Hey, if I may add, when a dog sees his owner after maybe like a day of work, he's over there uh, wagging his tail. He's all going, running fucking all left and right and shit, you know? Hey, uh, uh, and then what? The owner pets him, you know, and he gets on his back and he's fucking doing some of these, you know? His belly rub. Hey, so that's how the Lord is going to come back, you know? Us being uh, um, humble, you know? Uh, humbling ourselves to uh, the Heavenly Father's will. But, hey, man, we're going to be uh, excited. Sure, we're going to go through our hell. But when we see, you know, um, um, the, 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 scry, the the skies crack open, you know what I'm saying? We're going to be like that dog. Uh, uh, sure, we're going to fear. But at the same time, we're going to give praise, though. You know, we're going to be happy because ultimately, man, that's uh, uh, Esau going down and Israel coming up. And if I, if I may redeem myself, John, one more time, because I want to break down. Like, 
John 4 and verse 24, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth and in truth. So we gotta you gotta uh, not just talk it, you gotta really live this, you gotta really do what you're saying. You can't just say it and be a hypocrite. You know, you're not even really uh, following his ways. You gotta really eat, you gotta really live this life, okay, for you to be able to even say what you uh you know, uh, rebuke and rebuke people and, and uh, call them on their uh, uh, sins and all that. You gotta really live this. You gotta really live this because you can be able to tell people what they're doing is wrong for them to uh, to get right. You basically don't be a hypocrite, you gotta really live this. This is deep myself right now. Uh, Isaiah chapter 12, verse 5. Seek unto the Lord, for he hath done excellent things. This is known of all of earth. The Lord did all this stuff. So you, you'll uh, worship Nipsey Hussle. You'll worship, like, even the vain things. Like, vain things. It's a scripture on that. Okay. With, uh, let you know. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 13, verse 1. Surely vain are all men but na uh, nature who are ignorant of God. And by nature. Mm -hmm. So, hey, man, that's this sinful flesh, man. You know, With, uh, uh, without the spirit, then you're just vain, you're worthless. You know, it, it, shit is not, it, it don't matter, you know. Who are ignorant of God and cannot out of a good thing that are seen known him that it is. Ooh, think about it, man. You got uh, uh, take a look at the trees, the animals, your body. You know, and, and that's what it says uh, in the in the um, in the uh, 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 verse, man. Neither by considering the worst did the, uh, knowledge the worst master. Mm, that's right, man. And uh, uh, I, I got I got that real quick. Please said right quick. Uh, Romans one and twenty five. It says, "Who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie and worship and serve the creature?" More than the Creator, who is blessed forever, Amen. You see, we have to worship. You ain't gonna worship a a, a base, you know. You ain't gonna give praise to that base, you know. You are gonna give praise to the man that made that base, and we're like an unto vessels, you know what I'm saying? So we give honor to the Heavenly Father, which made us a a a, a um, vessel, you know. And when you always give the people that their due credit, then you start doing it to brothers. So now you know the what the how shy has did. Now you see brothers. It's like look, look how great. Now there's no hating spirit in you. Mm, it's all right. loving. Mm -hmm. uh, but deem either fire or wind. This is verse two on the wisdom of Solomon. But deem either fire or wind, or swift air, or the circles of stars, and violent waters and lights of the heaven to be gods which govern the world. You think all these things control the world, but you never even consider who made them. Hey, there's a scripture, uh, I forgot where it was, but it basically tells you this point, the waves can't go past. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, yeah they, 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 they roar uh, towards like that, but they always go back to a certain spot where the Lord, he said, right here, ain't like, no, ain't no uh, uh, yeah, there you go, the boundary. Ain't no boundary. You can't pass this boundary. You know, yeah, you go forward and then you swallow up some shit, but you, uh, 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 it always goes back, you know? Even the hairs of your head are numbered. Ooh, man, think about that, man. That's that's uh uh uh, uh that's the omni um uh, you know, he's over here controlling because he talked about the earth and I mean the wind, I mean and the fire. You know what I'm saying? Those are uh um a marvelous uh, uh uh creations of the heavenly father. You know what I'm saying? You'd be like, uh, he he remember he told Ezra, can you uh, measure? How can you weigh out a flame? <laughs> you know? So it's like, hey man. The heavenly father's far out, man. So you got to look at, like, uh, when you make a watch, it's on your wrist. So the Lord's watch for you is a, uh, a giant burning fire. Ooh, <laughs> yeah, that's right, man. That's dope as hell. Man, more of that verse. Which whose beauty, if their being delighted, took them to be gods, let them know how much better is the Lord Ooh, of them. Ooh, think about it. I was looking at fucking like stingrays and shit. Bro, stingrays, man. Uh, 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 they have like a, like a stabber at the end. Like man, that, and and just the way they be just like moving through the through the through the uh, uh, ocean and shit. You know, I'm like, man, man, that's a dope ass creation. It looks it looks weird, but that shit looks like dope. nice as hell. You know. So, hey, man, that's 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 uh, uh, um, that's the heavenly father, man. It's animals that like literally already have spiritual power. Like look at that bullet shrimp. Oh yeah. Shit, the lions. Lizards that can walk on water. Or the uh, uh, the, the the little fucking uh, electronic the um, the eel. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Shock your ass. <laughs> yeah. You know. A magneto or something. Uh, 
for the first author of beauty has created them. And that, that's what the Lord is. He's the first author of beauty. He has mm. created all that stuff. So isn't he isn't he worthy to even be exalted, to be mm -hmm. appraised? Exactly. He gave you the idea. Who, who, the person that gave you the idea, you gonna throw you gonna give him credit. You're not gonna be like, Yeah, I I, I got the you're not gonna be like, Yeah, I did it. You got the idea from Yahweh Shai, so you're gonna throw it right back at, back to him. That's right. how you're supposed to be. If you're a real a real man and, and that's what the apostle said mm. uh when they give like credit okay well i got this from uh this video came out mm -hmm. by uh dabu seven or mm -hmm. you know uh uh the dude um just just different man uh, uh, honorable man gives credit you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying right. and like you said man that that's just uh being a man yep. you know that's like uh, uh you 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 uh, uh not taking full credit of it but you just use it and then you shoot the credit to who, whoever did it man mm -hmm. so if you're not doing that you're being covetous you're being a covetous person that's wicked that's also Esau's spirit, bro. You do it for Esau. Like you do it uh, when you write a, 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 a essay in school. You got to get all your sources that oh, you yeah, get it. Yeah, huh? But you can't get your sources from the Bible, from the war. Like mm -hmm. they act like they chose. They they chose to be an Israelite. Like you, you should be grateful to the Lord. Out of all the nations, you you are Israelite. Mm -hmm. So give all praise to Yahweh for that, man. Because yeah. He made you. And at the end of the day, the Lord, you, you're, he espoused you as a, a, a wife. So he's jealous. So even if you don't want it, he's still, you, you still have to worship. You're not going to be able to worship anyone else. He's, he, he, they say like a uh, abusive relationship. No, a, a, a jealousy is a rage of a man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably should scripture out right here. Uh, it's a lot here. You, were you done? Yeah. Uh, this is Romans 12, verse 1. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, thy power, that ye perce uh, present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, meaning separate, acceptable unto God, a power, which is in, which is your reasonable service. Service. So this is what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to go out there and, and, and uh, our bodies supposed to be uh, represent our bodies as living sacrifice. Then did the Lord do that for us? So now it's our turn to bear up our cross, like we're supposed to do. Okay. And then we gotta give our praise to Yahweh for that, putting the spirit within us to even accept that, to be cool with that. Um, I got uh, oh, so, uh, I mean, the water. Uh, with that, I want to give all glory, honors, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shad, Bahashim,